This video was created to help walk you through creating a blog on WordPress, whether it's your first blog or you're revamping your old blog, whether or not you're new to blogging or internet technology. By the end of this lesson, you will know how to get your blog up off the ground and running. If you have any questions, thoughts, or ideas, please write them in the comments below. And if you find this video interesting, or if you're interested in finding out more on this subject or related subjects, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and tap that bell so that you don't miss out on videos that could help you with what you're hoping to create online. Now, also, we'll be leaving lots of links in the show notes below to lots of related information, as well as a link to a more detailed and in-depth article that we're publishing together with this video. But right now, let's get started on setting up our blog in three simple steps. To set up a website for our blog, we'll need the following things. A registered domain name, a subscription with a hosting service, and WordPress installed and set up. And we'll be walking you through every step of the way, explaining what these are, why we need them, and how to get them. Beginning with step number one, how to get a domain name for our site. Now, a domain name is the address. It's where we tell people to go when we want them to visit our site or blog. And once we've decided on a name, we need to register that name so that we can keep it as our address. And we do this by going to a specific domain registration site, such as Namecheap or Google Domains. But these days, plenty of hosting services will register your domain name for you and will be needing hosting services anyway. So let's move on to step number two, subscribing to a hosting service. Hosting is a service that stores all of the data for our website on a big memory bank called a server, making sure that it's readily available to visitors from all over the internet. But for our purpose here, we'll want to go with hosts such as SiteGround or Bluehost that provide domain name registration as well as a hosting service that is WordPress dedicated. And if we're already talking about WordPress, let's move on to step number three, installing WordPress. WordPress is a platform initially designed for online blogs and has been one of the most popular choices for bloggers worldwide ever since. And probably why hosting services with WordPress dedicated hosting have made it so easy for bloggers like us to set it up through their service. Now, when we subscribe to one of these hosting services, we'll select the WordPress dedicated package. Register your domain name, and once we've completed the short subscription process, it's a simple matter of clicking a few buttons, and just like that, we've installed WordPress for our blog on our host server. So let's get right down to accomplishing our goal of creating and publishing our first post on our blog. Now, once we've logged into our WordPress account, we'll find ourselves here on the WordPress dashboard. The dashboard is organized and designed to be efficient for online bloggers, with the functions most frequently used by bloggers appearing at the top of the menu on the left panel. Now, here we have our Posts tab, where we can review and edit our blog posts in the All Posts option. But right now, we'll click on the Add New option to create our very first blog post. Now, this takes us to the WordPress post editor. We'll give our post a title. Let's get started. In WordPress, we add our content as blocks stacked upon one another. By using this little plus icon here just below our title box, we can access a library of blocks for paragraphs, images, headings, lists, all the things that we're most likely familiar with from writing emails and documents. Now, let's add an image here as well by clicking on the menu icon here and selecting Insert After and using the plus or add icon to add an image block. To insert our image into this block, we have different options to upload from our computer or get our images from the media library. That's where all of our images are stored once they've been uploaded. When we're happy with our page, we'll click here to save our draft. Now, at this point, we're nearly ready to publish our post. However, 
we want our post to be noticed, perhaps become popular enough to create a following. And so we need to make sure that online users can find it easily. And we do that by setting categories and tags that are relevant to the content of our post, so that search engines like Google point users looking for this information to our blog. We also have a featured image, the main image that we usually see at the top of blog posts. This is where we upload or insert it and link it to this specific post. And for the same reason, we'll add a brief excerpt down here. Now, with this done, we'll click on Save Draft for obvious reasons, and our post is ready to publish. We can preview our post or publish it. Now, this isn't what our page will look like. This is just our content. If we preview or publish our post, we'll see that this is the way that viewers will see our content. Everything that we added on our post earlier was just plain content, which is why WordPress uses something called themes to stylize this content, dress it up, and frame it to make it more appealing to users. WordPress has a theme of its own by default, and that is what we're seeing right now. If we go to the Appearance section on the dashboard, we can see that theme. We could also use this section to search for a different theme and activate that. Or, instead of being limited by themes, we could add the Elementor Website Builder using the options in the Plugins tab to design original templates from scratch or use the pre-made completely customizable template kits from the Elementor library. Speaking of which, Envato Elements recently released over 200 eye-catching new template kits specifically for use with Elementor. So if you want to get ahead on the blogging scene, check those out in the links below. If you're interested in learning more about WordPress, designing and building cool templates with Elementor and much, much more, make sure that you click on the subscribe button and tap that bell so that you'll always know where you can find us and when new videos are released. And if you have any questions, tips or advice, please add them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and best of luck. Cheers.